love. Good to get to be on the phone with you. <laughs> yes, this is Ella. Oh yes, it is. <laughs> this is Ella Boo. I'm excited. Oh yes, I'm excited too. You have, I know you've been waiting. I like you know I waited to um uh, to speak with you, and I've been waiting to speak with you as well. You know. Oh um, great. Hmm. Say that once more. I'm sorry, I'm driving. Oh, but but can you hear me? I, it, it doesn't matter. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, I can. great. All right, my love. Um, so how do you pronounce your name? Shanika. Who? Um, Shanika. Shanika. Okay. Yeah. Shanika. All right. Have you ever received a psychic medium reading before? Or should I explain to you how I conduct sessions? I have, and I've been watching your videos online. So. Okay, so I'm not going to even get into it because you're my last client, so we're going to rock out. <laughs> um, so okay. In, uh, okay. Yes, my love. So in any event, you know, the first thing that came up with you, um, I'm not sure if you've gone through um, stressful situations recently or you are just coming off of a lot of like, um, what they're calling it is rather anxiety or rather feeling a, a sense of hopelessness. But peppermint oil, um, peppermint oil and pe peppermint and vanilla oil in particularly, um, would help you with your nerves. Um, in any event, so I'm not sure if you okay. have bad nerves or just get agitated, um, very quickly, or, yeah. you know, feel a sense yeah. where, you know, things that don't, you know, you know, I, I don't feel like things is going right for me, you want to get you some peppermint oil and, and vanilla oil, um, and then you can rather, one, bathe with it, but I'm, I'm mostly feeling like, you know, like the essential oils, when you just put it in your hand, and then you, you inhale it, that is also, yeah. uh-huh, yeah. yeah, that is also well, um, for you, because what they're saying is she is the only one that is blocking herself. Um, from receiving what it is that she wants in her life. So I don't know if it's a, a situation with love, um, you know, or relationships, or you just not feeling happy with yourself in terms of life itself. Um, but there is hope is what they're saying. And there is a, a time or rather a chance um, to make, to, to start all over again. I'm definitely seeing a rainbow, um, my love with you. I'm definitely seeing a rainbow and I'm feeling happiness, um, has come again. So I don't, when is your birthday? August the 9th. Oh, it just passed. Great. Right. So you're, you're in yeah. your, right. So you're in your new cycle of happiness. Um, in any event, but you have to claim this happiness is what they're saying. Definitely, um, claim that happiness. Definitely, you want to um take a a bath with lavender oil, or not even lavender oil, but lavender flowers. Um, is what they're saying. A okay. bunch of lavender um flowers because I'm feeling more so that you have to have like what is known as this this spiritual cleanse or 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 you know detox. Um, in any event, because that's what they, when I was meditating or rather in prayer before calling you, um, they wanted me, your spirit guides wanted me to work on you. Um, and what I mean by working on you is just like the energy, like that Reiki type of thing. Um, because they're saying she yeah. has too, she has too much and I'm not a Reiki master, but I can tap into that real quick. Um, but in any event, yeah. but in any event, what they're saying is, um, she has two, you know, you, you taking on two other people's energy or other people's aura. And it also could be a situation where you're very sensitive, um, to people's feelings and emotions and situations. That is also fine. But they're saying she can't be capped them, save them for everybody. It's time now to save yourself. Um, is what they're saying. It's now yeah. time to save yourself. And again, my love, you are August the 9th. So we're dealing with that Leo energy, the, the passionate one, the go-getter, the, 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 the one that wants to yeah. save people, the Christ. And then the number nine deals with what? Closing out of a chapter. You know, number nine is the number that is closest to God. So definitely this new cycle should be more so, you know, you should be more so going into your spiritual flow um, is what they're saying and not more so resonating on the physical level, meaning not allowing people and things to take you out your zone and understanding that you are God um, is what they're saying. She better know that she's God because she's going to get caught up. I don't know who's talking, but I'm feeling like this is a relative, um, because they're they're speaking, 
um, you know, they're speaking in a way where you understand, or rather I understand, where it's rather an English language where she better, you know, she better wake up, she better get her shit together, you know, something like that in any event. Um, and that person okay. did not show me their face yet, but I'm sure that as we continue on with the, um, you know, with the, uh, the, the channeling, the face will come up, but I'm definitely hearing, um, a, a, a love, a loved one, um, who made the transition okay. or rather a family member, um, who is very dear okay. to you, um, and is telling you, listen, get, get yourself together, um, what was I going to tell you? What do you do, uh, career-wise? I work in the ER, in the emergency room. I'm trying to be a nurse, an RN. Oh, so you don't, you don't drive, the, you don't drive the, the, the truck? No. Okay. I work in the ER, in the emergency room. Oh, okay. I don't know, for some reason I'm seeing, you know, a lot of, you know, transportation and driving. Um, in any event, so I, I, you know, you know, when the ambulance in any event that, that might've been that, um, or rather the connection yeah. with the connection with your job, um, in any event, but the, the, the ER or rather the medical field, um, is definitely, um, good for you, but I would recommend that you look into more of, um, a spiritual, uh, healing, you know, way. You know, in the near future, you can look into how to heal people spiritually, and that may be the reason why they're coming up with this stress, um, or you know, this high level of stress because working in that type of environment is very stressful. So whenever you, you know, you feel, you know, under the weather, um, peppermint oil, vanilla and peppermint oil is definitely, um, the the getaway, um, for you in any event. Uh huh. Definitely the getaway. Um, and in any of I'm seeing leprechauns here. Oh, mm, okay. Um, leprechauns, we're dealing with abundance. Um, we're dealing with definitely a financial change, um, in any event. And it could, oh, it could be that, it could be that you may be, um, you know, getting that new job or getting that new opportunity that you desire. Um, because abundance and, and, and love and, you know, and just dancing happy people, um, the leprechaun energy is coming through. Give me a second. Let me let me let me see what you can do to get offering. Okay. This is this is this is good because number nine. Let me see. Probably probably leprechaun energy deals with uh deals with the the Leo energy. Um, give me. Okay. Mhm. Mm um, leprechauns. Uh, true, 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 true. Give me a second. Leprechaun. Okay. Leprechaun is spelled L E O P. Hold on. Yeah, let's see. H I L. Yeah, definitely Leprechaun. Um, energy. And then two, what is it? Eight plus. Eight plus. Um, oh, eight plus. Eight plus nine. Um, eight plus nine is seventeen, and seventeen, if you break that down, is the number eight, and the number eight is the money card. Um, so then that's good, and that's perhaps why the leprechaun energy came up with you because leprechauns is known to bring financial wealth. Um, so again, I, I that. say that again. I said I do need that. <laughs> It's, it's, it, you can manifest it, um, you definitely can manifest it because it is in your cycle, or it is within your reading, so this is probably why this came up, so that you can manifest it, leprechaun, there you go, I mean, okay, leprechaun is described, small wizard, men wearing shoe, okay, icon sign, okay, um, see, old, see also to die, um, leprechauns are highly modified spirits. Their image is used to their their image used to sell breakfast cereals, beer, and anything even remotely Irish. In recent years, leprechauns re envisioned as evil fairies have evolved into villains of horror movies. However, this distorted images has no relation whatsoever to true leprechauns yet, yeah, because leprechauns basically deals with the twa people. 
Um, are you familiar with the Twa people? The Twa people, the the no. midgets, the midgets. Um, oh, yeah, okay. the Twa people. But the Twa people are very ancient type of people. Um, very spiritual people. So, give me a second. They're also recommending me to look at because I want I want to give you an offering or I want to give you further information. Um, of how you can okay. go about um, getting an offering, doing an offering um, to these, to these. This is coming up with you. Give me one second to die. Um, okay. okay. Yes. Give me one second. The good people. There you go. To die. The good people. The people. The people who go Wittershins. Um, the Gallic and Sun. Okay. The days. Uh, the, 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 the color is green, um, time, uh, most of the dyes are active from dawn until noon, and then from dusk until after midnight. Um, what time is it where you at? It's 5.14. Okay, is that considered dusk? Not yet? Well, no. Well, it's, what it says here, it says, um, from dawn until noon and from dusk until midnight. So it's going into the dusk um, where you're at. Okay. Over here, it's already 8 p.m., um, particularly uh, May Eve. Okay. Oh, here it goes. Days. The, the Sedai are particularly active at uh, uh, Beltane, which is May Eve, Midsummer's Eve, and... Some some high some high, which is Halloween, and today's Halloween. There you go. Okay, I knew yeah. it was some some kind of connection. All right. So sacred sites. Okay. Uh huh. Which is, and I never knew that this word is is Halloween. It's it's called Samhain. S A M. Samhain. Yeah. S A M. It might be like a spiritual or ancient word for Halloween. And then Halloween also deals with. Hallows Eve, meaning the time where the spirit realm. So every like every reading today was very it was just so magnificent. Why? Because there is a portal that has opened up for spirits to roam planet Earth. You see all of these characters coming. Those characters mean it has meaning. Um. So in any event, right. and then tomorrow is what All Saints Day. Saint is dealing with what? The Christ energy. Oh. After everything done got, right. you know, messed up, now the saints are coming to resurrect the earth again. So we're definitely dealing with the spiritual and the physical realm on this particular day. But let me give you a, um, let me give you a, 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 a ritual. Um, sacred sites. Bat battle mounds associated with individuals to die are well known. Fairy forts, also known as ring forts or stone forts. Um, are circular earthen banks or stone walls. There were once as many as 60,000 of these circular earth worlds in Ireland. Local names for them is the, the, the fairy forts. Okay, allegedly among the favorite haunts. Okay, so which is which is still a, I'll I'll give you something. Um, you know, um, when we get off the phone because this is not what I'm looking for. Um, but it's it's good. Okay. It's good to know that. The leprechaun energy is with you, um, which, in fact, I channeled, you know, today, which today is Halloween, and their days is Halloween. Um, and it says, oh, okay. mm -hmm, it says, today stand accused of stealing humans, especially babies, children. Okay, so we're going to get into that, but the color is definitely green. Um, so we're dealing also, we also dealing with the, with the heart chakra um, in any event, so to the extent that you heal your heart chakra, my love, um, is to the extent that the, uh -huh. the to the extent that you heal your heart chakra, is to the extent that the 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 universe would then respond to that particular vibration. And it, and and I and as I told one of my other clients, it's not about what it's not about how you or rather what it is that you manifest, because some people manifest from the mind. It's not manifested from the mind. You got to manifest from your heart, and it is your heart that your spirit guides, or rather your heart, that the universe responds to. You understand? You know, sometimes people be like, I just want to be in love. I just want to do this. I just want to, but it's a, it's, a, it's a feeling in the mind. What about, is that really what your heart right. desires? 
does, do, do your heart really want to be in love? Do your heart really want, you know, so in any event with you, my love, I'm right. definitely feeling like whatever it is that you want to manifest, be sure that it is coming from um your heart. Again, your number is number nine. So we definitely dealing with an energy that is closest to God, you know, um, in, in any form, cosmic, um, a cosmic flow. Um, and she also has to be protected is what your spirit guides are saying. Do you work with crystals? Oh yeah. I do have some. Okay. Um do you have any I just don't know what to do with them. Okay, so you do have crystals. Um do you do you have onyx or hematite? I believe so, yes, I do. I yeah, do. Because I'm seeing that with you. Um so hematite and onyx are the crystals that are recommended for you when you go to that job site because again you're dealing you're dealing with a lot of people with different um demons is what they're saying um people are sick so if you are somebody that wants to rise or raise in consciousness and spirituality and don't want to be you know up and down and feeling confused you want to balance yourself out with um the hematite um, and then two, the, okay. the, the, the recommendation that I told you in terms of the lavender, um, bath. Okay. You okay. have any, you have any questions? Um, just with my career, uh, making sure that I, um, you know, that, I mean, I feel like it's going to work out. I just know it's going to take time for my nursing and then my marriage. Um, um I filed for divorce. Yeah, you so, it's gonna yeah, the divorce is gonna happen. The it's it's, okay. it's it, you <laughs> that's where that heart remember when I, j I just mentioned the heart thing. Um you you yeah. gonna I was gonna ask you too, did you go through a divorce? But it's happening actually now. Um, it's actually happening yeah. now. Um but in any event, my love, um, it's time now for you to go your separate ways. I know that you, you know, you will be at peace, um, you know, when you are balanced within yourself. Um, it might be, it might take a little, what they're saying, it might take, you. okay, cross your T's and dot your I's. Um, you have a lawyer? No. Uh, well, if you don't have a lawyer, make sure that you're on that paperwork. Um, because I'm feeling something tricky. I'm feeling like, you know, um, rather it might be a delay or, you know, a setback or, um, you know, does he want a divorce as well? He wanted one and then he, he goes back and forth. Okay, see. Because he's still around and we still deal with each other, but. Yeah. See, that's, yeah, that's the trick. I think the title is the problem with him. Oh. That's that's the tricky stuff. You <laughs> that you get what I'm saying? You're dealing with somebody that is wishy washy. One day he wanna be yeah. your husband, the next yeah. day he don't. So that's why your spirit guys is saying to protect you, you know, to protect you, you wanna cross your T's and dot your eyes in this situation because you don't you never know. He you know, he mess around and say something, oh you know, to delay the to the de, to delay the process. You don't got time for that. So it's rather you're going to go through with it and it's going to go smoothly or, you know, um, you know, it might be some, you know, obstacles in a sense because of him, though, um, in any event. That's why I asked you, are you sure he wants to, you know, to divorce from you or, you, you know, is this something that he also wants? Um, in any event, that's why I would recommend like a lawyer, um, you know, to, to definitely protect you. Um, because you never know with him. When is his sign? He's a Scorpio. Oh. Yeah. Them Scorpios. I don't, I don't know. They, you, you, you. One day they love you. The next day they snap on you. You know, he's a person that he does yeah. want family. But he might have been, you know, emotionally hurt. Um, You know, deep-rooted. You know, um, you know, even from his own family, he might not know how to love. Um, in any event, he might be going through his karmic debt, uh, is what your spirit guys is saying. I'm feeling like he might be going through his karmic debt. Um, and I don't want you to feel sorry for him. Um, you know, I, I just don't want you to feel sorry for him. 
if this is what your heart desires, if you know for sure, and that's why they said whatever it is that you that you want to manifest, make sh make sure it's coming from the heart. So if this is <laughs> what your heart desires, if you truly in your heart feels like this is no longer going to work, you have to be a Leo and stand strong and proceed with this. You that's can't. That's my issue. I don't. Okay. So then, then. Because I don't know. Like, part of me wants oh. to, and part of it's like a 50-50. Oh, so then, so then, so then, be easy a little bit until you know for sure what you want to do. And again, hear me out with this one, okay? Does a paper define you to be a, a, a wife, somebody's wife? A piece of paper, does that no. define? That doesn't define you. So I mean I don't know no. ex I don't know exactly what your intentions are in terms of divorcing, um but that's why your spirit guides are saying listen tell her whatever it is that she wants to do, it it should be coming from the heart and not from the mind. There you go. You see, there you go. Oh. So it's like yeah. oh you know my heart is telling me this but I don't know. That's why it's going to be it's going to be back and forth. It's going to be like this emotional thing, and that's why the first thing that came up was stress. Yeah, that's exactly what the issue is of back and forth because my heart is still with him. I I love him. Like I don't, you know, I, but my mind is like I'm I'm training my mind to say let go and cuz he's not going to change or he's not going to be the man you want. Maybe, like, you know, you have faith or you think they're going to change or I don't know. Um, so that's my struggle. I'm going to tell you, as a woman, you know, as a woman, we, we definitely struggle in situations like this because we are nurturers, you know, by universal law, right? Um, but yeah. we deserve the best, right? We deserve to be happy. Yeah. Uh, we deserve to be with someone that is compatible with us um, in any event. Yeah. So I understand or rather understand that you've gone through this relationship or rather I'm going to say this emotional assignment or lesson with this guy. But now you are awakening and you're saying, listen, um, I think it's now time for me to go my separate way. So the mind is working now, um, but the heart because you have been um, accustomed to him, um, your heart is like, this is the only person that I know. But he's he, he the only reason why you feel like he's the only person that you know is because that's the only person that you've really been with. You don't know what's out there until you let go of your current situation. Um, it's like It feels like a first love, you know, your first love, your head over heels over this person and you don't want to let go and then when you guys break up it's like a traumatic experience but as a matter of fact it's not traumatic because there's other things out there for you that you have to go and get so okay. this is a situation with you now um and let, let, let me see how i what what comes up okay this is a situation with this l let me speak let me speak to the spirit realm right this is okay. a situation, mm -hmm. this is a situation with this particular sister that she is working in a, um, the EMT, she's working in a emergency room and she's dealing with lots of different clients and she's dealing with lots of people that are sick. So this is a situation where she, um, you know, has high levels of stress at the job, but then when she comes home, she is not even um, completely satisfied with her lover. Um, what is it that you recommend? What is it that you do? Give me a second. Let me hear what they saying. Give me a second. Let me hear what they saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 So Papa Legba came through. Um, Papa Legba is saying that he recommends that you heal yourself, and we're going to get into what healing yourself means. Um, and they recommend that you, again, you do what it is that your heart desire. Um, I'm definitely feeling like it's going to be a change. 
um, with you and to the extent that they're saying to the extent that you open up to this change um, because it's at it's at the door for you um, and the stress the stress is going to be there because this is a buildup of things is what they're saying. So, you you know, your emotions and your feelings or rather your experiments, um, experience has been going on for quite some time. So definitely healing. Once she begins to heal herself, that's when she's going to, that's when you are going to see clearly. Um, and that's when things are no longer going to affect you. So in any event, um, I would definitely um, recommend rather um a yemaya bath for you or rather a um a, a, a pop a leg bar bath where the doors is opening up or rather you are aligning yourself with your highest um with the highest divinity so that you can see clearly that is the key as a leo they're saying she's the christ she's the christ she needs to see um and that is the struggle my love it's not that you're in a it's not that you're in a battle um, with your job and with your love affair is the battle is because you cannot see um, and when they say that you cannot see it's like you cannot find the answer within that is the struggle but here's the good thing um, once you realize that that's the struggle there's you are the problem and you are also the solution um, and it, it's only going to take days is what they're saying. It's not going to take months. It's not going to, one, once you go to bed or rather as you take a, a nice, you know, bath, it doesn't, it doesn't have to really be a spiritual bath if you don't want it. Just a nice, calming, soothing bath and you speak to your own spirit, you will seek the truth is what they're saying. Um, that is the issue. The issue is not. The situation that you're in, but the issue is more so the internal battle that you're having. And once you defeat that internal battle, then everything else will um, just, you know, flow very uniquely um, and very, you know, at ease, um, including, including um, the job. Uh, because fishes is also coming up, and we're speaking about fertility here. Um and that doesn't necessarily mean you being pregnant. Um, fertility is just an idea. That you're like, oh, thank God. <laughs> you're like, oh, shoot. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. That reaction alone, that reaction alone, my love, goes to, sh to show me that it's time for you to go your separate ways. Because if that scares you right there, that's a confirmation that, the 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 lesson has or rather the 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 relationship has expired because if you if you're married I can't to, have any more kids. Oh, okay. So then that's what it is. And that's why I said I don't see I don't see it uh you know pregnancy wise. Yeah. Right. I don't right. see it that way. Um I just see it in a way where whatever your you know your mind or rather whatever seed that you planted it's now time for it to grow. It is now time for it to become fertile. Um, and that's where the the internal battle comes in at because you really you really know what you want. You really do. You really do. But you're allowing the chatterbox, you know, you're allow allowing the chatterbox to take control. As as my jet as my jetna say, you gonna allow the chatterbox to take control of you, or you gonna take control of the chatterbox, and that is part of your spiritual right. growth. Making right. that final decision, um, but healing, um, healing is definitely the first thing because it, it's it's levels to this, right? You don't want to make a decision and then feel like you know, you messed up. You want to make a decision when you are strongly on your feet, when you are comfortable with yourself, when you feel like, no, this is coming from me type of thing. Um, And that's why the first thing that your spirit guides is saying is the healing part first. You have to heal. Um, What is the relationship with you and your papa? My father? Yes. Um, I rarely talk to him. Um, I mean, we're okay, but I'm not close to him at all because things that have happened as a kid, mm -hmm. you know, being molested. So, 
Yeah. I don't deal with him. I talk to him, but I forgive and let go. But, mm-hmm. you know, I'm not close to him. Okay, so, again, we're dealing with healing. We're, de- we're going even back. Yeah. We're going back, 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 back. Heal yeah. yourself. Heal you. If you, let me tell you something, you don't cry a lot? Not no more. Mm. Well, get back. I hold it in mostly. Mm, that's, mm, that's, that's, no. Why? Why are you holding it in? What, 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 you don't got no, you don't got no room for that inside of you. What are you holding that in for? I just, I don't know. I mean, I get period and sometimes I might cry, but most of the time I just, you know, I figure something to do. I go clean up. I go burn the candles. I go, you know, run some water, you know, drink some wine. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Yeah, you mask it. Escapism, like a Pisces. You want to escape. Yeah. You want to escape from what is really hurting you. And that's the internal battle, my love. That's the reason why these decisions that you want to make right now, it's not clear. Because it's not it's not about the, right. the actual decision or the actual situation. It's it's really about you. And and, and, and right. you know, and, and dealing with what has happened to you. Because and that's why another thing is like, okay, well, you know, this is a person that has been loving me in a way but he he you you ain't you ain't you ain't see love yet unconditional love that's you 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 didn't resonate with that yet and my phone and my phone hangs up right that's that's beautiful Yes, I'm not sure who phone was sorry that. About that. It's, it's not. I'm sorry. It's not a problem, my love. Um, but in any event, the reason why I say you have not yet received that unconditional love, um, is because of your past experiences, um, and you not fully healing yourself, um, from what has happened to you, even from childhood. Um, when yeah. you when you align yourself you know, with this unconditional love internally, um, you're gonna be you're gonna be a, a a brand new person. Um, definitely gonna be a brand new person. And that's perhaps why that, that leprechaun energy came up with you, you know, dealing with abundance and spirituality, um, and any of yeah. that. Mhm. I've been feeling that. I've been feeling like I'm growing and me loving myself more, I feel stronger, oh, if yeah. that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So. It, it's a journey, though. It's a journey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I didn't know, you know, so I'm, I'm learning all this now, and I'm 36 years old, so I'm reading, I'm learning, I'm like, okay, you know, mm-hmm. I didn't know this, I'm just experimenting on things, and, you know, and trying to just better myself for me so I can make me happy because I keep looking towards other, you know, my husband or, you know, uh, for other people to do what I do, you know, what I would do for him or for my friends or for whoever, I won't get that in return. So I just need to do everything for myself Mm -hmm. and be a little selfish. Yes. And then too, you and then too, my love, you you're you say you're thirty six, so we're dealing with that's another number nine. Three plus six is nine. So we're definitely oh, talking yeah. about we're definitely talking about 
um, resurrecting or rather getting closer to the God in you. You get what I'm saying? Or getting closer to the cosmic forces within yourself, you know, and in order for you to do so is first by healing and, you know, ending this internal battle that you have been battling with. It's it's over. The com- it, the com- it's completed. It's over. Number yeah. nine also deals yeah. with fertility. There you go. Right. Yeah. Shut it down. Yeah. Time for now, you know, to be who you really want and attract what you really want from the heart. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Mm-hmm. You have any questions? Um, I think that's it. Mostly my career, my love life, and um, um, well, I know, you know, like as far as my career is is gonna pick up, and I'm gonna know where to go and what to do, and I just feel lost. Like you know, like everything I'm doing is just not, you know. It's not, I'm not completing things. That's my issue. I'm not completing things. Mm-hmm. As I mentioned, you know, within the first five minutes of this session, I understand that. We, I, you know, yeah. I, I gave you the, I gave you the rem- remedies to help you get back on track. Yeah. Okay. And this session has been recorded, so you can always go back and listen to it. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. It's it's just little tools that you you know you need to use to just tune you up a little bit. That's it. Okay. You know. Okay. All right, my love. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you for allowing me, um, to guide you. Thank you. No problem. All right. Create a bless. Thank you. Have a good day. Same to you.